What's up guys, this is Corey here with Toothless Reptiles in San Diego. As always, make sure to follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, I wanted to do a video on how I ship uh, my monitors. Um, I've had a few people ask me, um, especially first timers, on how they need to ship their reptiles and it's really hard to explain. And shipping a live animal is already stressful enough, so um, I, it's... It's not something that I'm comfortable giving advice about over the phone without actually physically showing you how to do it. Um, so uh, this is how I ship I ship my monitors. And I ship all of my monitors specifically with um, Reptiles Express boxes. So when you buy, um, this is a 6x9x12 uh, Reptile Express uh, shipping kit for reptiles. Um, but this comes with the insulated liner inside which is all styrofoam so you will need to uh, need to assemble that inside and it's just four this is actually five pieces and plus the top which is over there and um, after that um, make sure that when you when you put together the boxes you're putting them together the right direction because these have arrows on them and uh, you want to make sure the upside is going up because FedEx will not uh, they 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 have to go off of what's on the side of the box so make sure that you do that correctly. Um, tape up the bottom of the box. You do not want these boxes airtight. Um, they need to not be airtight. So I do three strips of tape on the seam on the bottom and that's it. And I'll show you how I do that on the top as well. But um, you basically grab your little guy. Um, this one I'm looking for a microchip ID ending in 552. And this is actually going to our lottery winner. So that is 552. So you always want to make sure you got the right monitor, which is always a plus. Um, and uh, anytime I ship monitors, they always come with the egg. Um, I ship digital temperature probes as well. And then also, um, I always throw in a couple of uh, business cards for good measure. Because everybody likes to get goodies with their monitors. So that'll all be in there. Um, I always use sacks to ship the monitors. And um, I'll tell you why in a second, but basically you're going to put your monitor all the way in the bottom. Make sure it is all the way in the bottom and not anywhere near the top because you're going to end up tying this bag right now. Um, so I always grab onto it, get it around, tie it once, and then flip it back and tie it on the other side as well. And then you can put your rabbit ears in there. So that way your receiving customers can be able to get this undone. Um, generally with the hatchlings, I do not go crazy and wrap them with electrical tape and use uh, zip ties and all that crap. You don't need to do that. Um, after you tie this, make sure that your monitor is down here and not anywhere up here. Because um, it will bug the hell out of you if you don't make sure. So, And then I'll fold this over so I know that the monitor is in this section now. And then I can fold this over as well. And that'll stay just like that. And then this is actually really key. Um, you don't want your monitor on the side that you're going to be putting the heat pack on the top. So when I put the heat pack, generally I'll put the heat pack towards one side of the package. And so I don't want my monitor on this side. I want my monitor on the other side. So if I'm going to put my heat package, heat pack it on this side, um, and it's going to be on the top like this. I'm going to want to move this stuff to this side so the heat pack will be above all of the the stuff that isn't going to be isn't going to matter because it's not alive and I will put the monitor that way so the heat pack will be right over here um, when you order your your packages from Reptiles Express they'll come with um, containers like this I don't like to use containers like this for one reason and that's because you know, when FedEx handles these boxes, I don't want to say that they're crude, but they are they are handling boxes and time is a factor and it is a shipping company. They're not going to be softly handing these boxes off and if your monitor is in open space, it's going to slide around regardless um, of what you do. If your monitor is in a bag, it is not going to move. That whole bag has to move and once you get the heat packs in there, um, this this bag isn't going to move very easily. I mean, you're going to get vibration, but it's not going to be sliding around inside of a vessel with nothing to with no no boundaries. So um, that's the reason why I don't use these. Um, I always use the bags, and I've never had an issue with them. 
Um, I've shipped some other upper and more rare reptiles, and I, I literally I can't use those. I wouldn't. I would never use those. They're too delicate. Um, so once you have your monitor in its bags, you have all the contents in there, everything you need. Um, you've checked your monitor to make sure it's the right monitor for you. Now you want to set up your heat packs. So these are 48-hour uh, heat packs. These come with the kits. Um, I always buy a bunch of extra ones, and depending on weather, I will ship monitors with two of these in there. But since the, the weather is a little warmer right now, we're only going to ship them using one. So you're basically just going to open this thing up. And you're going to shake it up. It'll feel like it's just full of sand. Um, so you want to just kind of mix it up. Shake it up a little bit. And the side with the red line on it, you want pointed towards your monitor. Towards the inside of the box. That is where the heat is going to be coming out of. So what I do, um, you're going to want to make it last a little bit longer. Basically these heat packs just have an oxidizer in them. So when they make contact with oxygen in the air, they start to create heat. Um, and then uh, you'll you'll notice if you ever open up one of these bags and this is hard or feels chunky Don't use that pack it somehow the the bag must have broken and it is it is done It's not gonna get hot so when you open these up It should feel like it's basically full of sand like I would compare it to like fine coffee grounds um, And it should move around pretty freely so what I do is I flip this over so the red parts pointed down stick it in the center of my uh, paper towels and then fold these over just one, two, three, four, fold it over. Now I take this, flip it back over, so all my folds are trapped underneath, and the red line is pointed up towards me, which will be pointed down towards the monitor in the box. Um, and I always use aluminum duct tape. Um, this stuff is just made to, to be able to hold heat, and I'm always worried that if I use uh, some other type of tape, like um, the, the plastic duct tape or whatever, the adhesive on them is not really made to take a lot of heat, and I'm always afraid that somehow the, the fumes from the, from the uh, tape will affect the monitor in some way. I don't know. It's just not worth the risk. So um, we throw a piece of tape on that side. Another piece of tape on this side. And that's it. Now our heat pack is set up and ready to go, and this will last for 40 to 48 hours. Um, generally inside the box, it'll make sure that the box never gets below um, 70 degrees. Um, so now we got the monitor in there. It's in the bag. We got everything ready to go. Um, another quick tip you might want to do before you ship your guys is make sure not to feed them the day before. And if you really want to get anal about it and you want to make sure that they don't poop in the, in the containers, you're going to want to soak them in a warm bath. Make sure they poop, and then you can start shipping them. Um, I used to pack paper in these. Uh, with the larger bags, um, you don't have to pack paper in them to keep them secure. Um, and with the other goodies that I always ship inside the box with the, with the monitors, they tend to stay pretty secure. Um, but I have seen people fill up boxes with peanuts and stuff like that. Um, you can do that if you want. It's not going to hurt anything. But definitely don't use any type of plastics. Um, like the the filled up plastic uh, like bubbles that they put in with uh, the packages you get on Amazon and stuff. I would never use those. Um, but yeah, so this guy's in there. He's in his bag. He's ready to go. My stuff is in there. I got my heat pack. The red side is pointed towards me, which is now pointed down towards the monitor, towards all the goodies that don't need to get heated. So you just really want to make sure that your monitor doesn't ever come into contact with his pad. Um, so he's on the other side. We can put that up on there. And that is it for packing your monitor. Now for me, the first thing I do now is I stick my invoice on top of this. And this gets packaged underneath there. The invoice will have the ID numbers. Um, in this case, I'm not going to show you the invoice that I'm packing in there because it has uh, personal information on there from the, uh, the uh, awesome lottery winner. So I'm going to flip that upside down, which I'm sure she'll figure out when she opens it. And um, so now her invoice is in there with her microchip ID numbers on it and uh, the terms of policies that we have. Obviously, we guarantee live arrival. Um, and now we can seal this box up. So we are going to just tape this up with normal packing tape. So, of course, my packing tape is screwed up. Just like always. Every time you try to do a video, something goes wrong. <laughs> so, um... So we're going to pack this thing up. I'm just going to go do three lines of packing tape. Um, one straight down the seam. This is going to hold it down. 
and then I'll do one on either side. Like I said before, you do not want to make this airtight at all. Um, you have a live animal in a box. You do not want to make it airtight. Um, and you have a heat pack in there as well, which is also going to be using up a certain amount of oxygen um, since it is an oxidizer. So um, you're going to need to make sure that they are not airtight. Some people go so far as to put holes in the sides of the boxes. I don't really think that's necessary. Um, if you do want to, you can put a hole in the side of the cardboard box, but don't put a hole through the styrofoam. Um, it'll have the same effect because the styrofoam is obviously not airtight. It's just a couple pieces sitting in there loose. Um, but now we can stick our FedEx label on the top. So I always use these actual FedEx labels. So what I do for these guys is I hold it on there where I want it, flip up the bottom, pull the, the sticky off the bottom part, flip that back down, and then I can flip it the other direction pull this off flip that back down and I'll uh, you can flip this top part up and slide your your packing slip with all your tracking information and everything on there um, I'll wait to do that until after this video to make sure that my awesome raffle winner stays anonymous and um, as always with all of our toothless reptiles boxes we put on our uh, awesome toothless reptiles CBB water monitor stickers so I usually take one of these and I stick it right here on the seam so when whoever gets this great little guy they'll be able to see it's a toothless reptiles cbb water monitor straight from san diego toothless reptiles hopefully that was uh informative for you guys and um make sure that you only ship your monitors priority overnight um i can literally ship a monitor in my region at around 5 p.m and it'll be in new york be delivered before 10 30 a.m new york time so um you also want to make sure that you hit your shipping windows as late as possible um generally i won't pack up a lizard and ship it in the morning knowing that it's just going to sit at the fedex location until 5 p.m when they pick up so i'll usually load up my monitors around four and drop them off a half an hour or so before the pickups um, and make sure when you drop off your monitors also that you get a receipt so they'll scan it in give you a receipt um, and then uh, also with the live animals, I know my local FedEx location will not take live animals. I have to actually take them to the hub, um, the FedEx hub, the main hub for San Diego, um, which is a little farther away, which is totally fine. Um, but just so you are aware, uh, when you set up all your shipping stuff, don't cut your times too close and then realize that that, that location can't take live animals because then you're kind of screwed. So. Um, Make sure those are some things that you're keeping in mind. Make sure your monitors are healthy enough to be shipped. Make sure you check your weather. And if you're going to ship monitors through to through um, Reptiles Express, I actually used to ship a lot of monitors through Reptiles Express. They can actually print the shipping labels and everything. They have an amazing service where they'll actually contact you and let you know when there is weather delays and if there is any type of delays. They will go out of their way to contact FedEx and contact the receiver. Um, to let them know that there is a delay and they'll make arrangements with FedEx. I've had a delay on one time where they actually called FedEx and had them pull this animal off of um, off of the dock and put it in a manager's office for, for a day before um, they could deliver it. And they were willing to have a carrier send the monitor out at, at midnight that night. So um, they, they do a lot of great stuff. Uh, now we obviously have a, a business FedEx account, so I ship everything through my own business. But... Um, those are all awesome things that are available to you. All these packages are super cheap on, um, on Reptiles Express. You can buy entire packages, get all your heat packs and everything you need to ship your monitor safely. So, uh, make sure you do all that. And I hope this monitor, this, uh, this video was good for you guys. And if you have any questions or comments, please comment below. As always, make sure to follow us on social media and Instagram and, uh, keep in touch and hit us up. I think I have three Het Black Dragons left. Um, and we will be shipping them out the same way that we ship these guys out. So keep feeding.